All right, let's talk a little Wales, Ukraine, because everybody, in case you're living under a rock, Wales played Ukraine for that last spot in our group. And I'm speaking from the U.S. perspective. Our group now has England, has Iran, and Wales did the business. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. That's my overall thought on the Wales performance. I thought Ukraine were the better team, but Wales had a little bit of the luck and some heroic defending from Ben Davies and some good goalkeeping from Hennessy as well to secure their first World Cup in 58 years. It's the last time. The last time they actually played in the World Cup, Pelé beat them. He was 17 years old. That's how long ago it was, everybody. But they're or who we're going to play first. Heath, I'll come to you first. I'm actually glad we're getting Wales. I think Ukraine are a better team than Wales are, and I think they would have uh, probably proved to be a little bit more troublesome for us. Wales just feel like a team that's got a little bit of swagger, but if Gareth Bale's not up for it, I think I think we could beat these guys. Yeah, I fully agree. I, I I like the way we compete or match up with Wales. You know, most of what they have, and they have a little bit of that, you know, some of those players' names that that are hyped around Europe that don't necessarily pan out to the level, Ampadu being uh, an example of that, but still a quality player. I like the way we match up with them. What they, what they default back to is fight. I think the U.S. defaults back to fight as well. And so I think the matchup with them is good. I actually like our quality and the way that we could break down. If you look at the games that we played, uh, this week, uh, I, I like I like our chances against Wales, and much more so than than if we had to play Ukraine or 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 even Scotland. I, I think Wales are a team that we should look at with an ability with an honest ability to to get three points uh, in that match across the board. Now, again, they're months out. You know who who's on the field for for Wales come that World Cup is going to be a different story. But when I looked at the way that they played, when I looked at the way Ukraine sort of broke them down at times. When I looked at their lack of ideas, they were just a, a, a good, solid team that was willing to, to, to fight for each other, and that's what got them to a World Cup. I don't think that's enough to get past the U.S. in the World Cup. So, so Charlie, before I go to you, I made a mistake, everybody. 1958 World Cup was their last appearance. That's over 60 years ago. Won't happen again. I rarely make mistakes over here. <laughs> Chuck, let's talk about the Wales because – there's some type of arrogance I think that plays into this as well. I think they think they can beat us. And when they look at their schedule for this, they play us first, they play Iran second, and then they have England last. I bet you they want to go into that England game not having to worry about it. They can get a win against Iran, maybe a draw against us, and they just maybe just need to get a draw against England to go through. But I think that arrogance could be something we could use against them because I'm already talking to some Welsh friends that think they're going to beat us 3-0. And I'm like, yeah, keep thinking that because we're a little bit better than you think you are. And, and they have some weaknesses. And I think they're a team that we can get after. And yes, Gareth Bale is an influential figure, but he's not he's a luxury player. He's not playing both ways. And I think we could take advantage of it if only him and, and Aaron Ramsey aren't playing defense. I don't think they have a proper number nine. I think they have a number nine issue as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your thoughts on Wales and, and us playing them first? Because I think that game is so pivotal. We can't get a draw. Either, either team needs really needs a win in that one, I think, to really set the stage for them to have success as to which team wins and goes through to the next round. I, I think a draw is, is not the end of the world. Um, True. If you if you come away with a draw, but in watching you uh, Wales versus Ukraine, I think Wales is a better matchup for us. I, they're a little bit more predictable. Now they're very good at what they do, but you know you look at transition, you look at set pieces, Gareth Bale, and then you know Daniel James because mm -hmm. he, he is pretty electric. Those are their two guys that you really have to watch out for. They can hurt you on the counter, sloppy play and you're going to get burned. Right. In terms of, of just con ball control, we're going to have possession, and they're going to give us possession. They're happy with that. But all of a sudden, with, with a couple of few you know sloppy plays or lazy plays, that's when Wales are going to hurt you. They're going to be very tough to break down. You know that. This is a World Cup. They're going to defend. If you score that opening goal, that's what's going to open them up, and you can force them to you. You're going to create some more space in behind. But that's an if. And we've had slow starts. We always talk about, man, the U.S., it took them 20 minutes to go in or they gave up a goal. If you give up an early goal in this World Cup, you're toast. You're absolutely mm -hmm. toast. So I, I think that's where we have to watch out for this game. Can't take Wales lightly, although you'd rather have played Wales than Ukraine. You still can't take them lightly. Every game is going to be a, a dogfight, especially, you know, you talk about Wales, England, they, they're the, they're the, the big dogs. Everyone has their tar They have their target on their back. It's a little bit easier to play against them because the expectation is you lose. And then Iran talk about a low block. Yes, they have some some playmakers, but they're going to defend. They're going to invite you up and then look to hurt. So um, that that first game is going to be crucial in getting the first goal. 
Jimmy, let me let me ask you this. Yeah, shoot. What after these two games, these last two games for the U.S. I know we we're all confident in the group because I think we got a pretty pretty solid group for the for the U.S. in terms of our odds and chances compared to other groups or even Concacaf. I mean, teams Canada's got a harder yeah, group than us. Exactly. I, I I agree with that. But I came out of these two games now, and I know they're friendlies, but they're against good opponents, and we haven't seen them in so long. And I was stuck in this world of like I mentioned with with qualifying, which was ugly and scrappy and kind of second guessing a lot of my own thoughts coming out feeling like okay there's actually a team somewhere in this that can compete that's that is yes, world yes. cup quality yes. do you feel more confident now after these last two games in the way that our team can match up with the whales that we could match up with in iran um in terms of like our actual chances versus just the confidence of our of our national team well what's interesting is i still have questions or the same questions that i had after these two games who who is our number nine and this is us collectively. And also, who's our best center back pairing? Because I don't think that's been sorted out Damn, either. Jimmy and, does not like Aaron Long, huh, Charlie? No, no, no. no he he, he just absolutely tore up the center backs right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> just saying. It just hasn't been answered yet. He no, just ripped no, a piece of paper. Why is he, why is he so angry? Medicine. I get it. He took a piece of paper, it. ripped it right in half, and was yeah, like, right, these two right, things right. don't go together. I'm just why is he so angry? It hasn't been solidified yet. Also, I'm angry. Because Eunice Musa took my girl. That's why I'm angry, Charlie. So, so Charlie, so what I'm going to say is, you know, we still what what happens when Gio Reyna comes back into the team, G Serginho Des, when we start to get these guys back in, you know, how how can we get them inserted in and obviously build off of that? But yes, to your point, Heath, there were some some sequences that I saw that were fantastic that I think can hurt any any teams out there. If the timing's right, we're moving together as a group on both sides of the ball. When I think about this Wales team, though, this is a core group of players that have been together for a long time. This is a team that made a tremendous run to the semifinals in the Euros in 2016. and the Euros last summer, they got to the round of 16. And because they have this big tournament experience that a lot of our, our players don't have, but this core of players does, that gives me some concern with regard to how to manage this first game and, and, what, and how we should walk into this. Now, I do think we can beat them. I think that we have the quality to do so. It's just those... Those chances that we're giving up right now that that I don't, you know, obviously a, a team with quality, a team with a Gareth Bale on it is gonna get a chance or two and they're gonna they're they're gonna be dangerous. I just feel like we're giving up maybe too many of those. Matt Turner had to make a lot of saves. You know, we still have Sean Johnson and we're doing a lot of heroic defending. I, I wanna limit that to to and minimize that as much as possible. So that's where I'm coming from from a center back perspective. Um, so maybe Aaron Long took my girl. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> so that's ultimately what I'm talking about with regard to that. But but I wonder, and, and now also Wales, I think we're really nervous going into this, Charlie. I'll get into your final thoughts on Wales and and, mm -hmm. and but but with regard to I think they were nervous for this Ukraine game. I look Ukraine looked a little nervous too. They lacked a little bit of that quality in front of the goal, but now they have five months to prepare for us. And, and, and I wonder, they're going to say all the right things, but I wonder how, how ready they're going to be for us. Cause I think we can hurt you in a lot of different ways to Heath's point. Yeah. Wales is, is, as a team, you know, they play with the three in the back. Ben Davies is the one who puts out a lot of fires for them. He he's, he was a stud defender for Wales in the premiership, hot and cold. Um, <laughs> But I think Ramsey is kind of the X factor with this group mm -hmm. because he hasn't he hasn't been good for for a, a bit. The move to Juve, I think, kind of took him off because he was flying with Arsenal. Then with Juve, it's kind of been shaky. And then with Rangers, it's only it's been a short term deal. So looking at what his next move is, because that's a that's a creative playmaker. That's a player when he's at fit and he's and he's doing really well. He he can break down the U.S. He can yeah. find he can yeah. get in those pockets. He can be the one to create for Gareth Bale for Daniel James. So, um, the Wales team is is a, a team that I would be cautious about for sure. That's that's not a gimme game. It's going to be super difficult, especially when they the way they defend. But it's it's a it's a team that you should feel pretty confident about. Like you, if I'm if I'm in the U.S. locker room, I'm feeling optimistic. Yeah. So what I'll say, you're not is, feeling like the underdog. You're feeling, you're no, feeling like, oh, feeling there's the we. If we do, if we execute, we can win this game. As opposed to being like, you know, hope for the best or like get get one or two chances, squeak it out type of thing that you're going to do in an away game in Concacaf. I think it's coming down to that last game against Iran, whether we we advance or not. Um, and would you uh, like that if if they give you those odds? 
Yes, I would like that. I mean, Iran at that point could have two losses, so they might not have that much to play for. Of course, we played them in the 98 World Cup in the last group stage game with neither one of the teams having anything to play for in that last one, and they beat us 2-1. So, yeah, I, I would take it. I would take it. I, I guess it depends on how we played leading up to that game, but but uh, all you want is a chance in that last game. You know, to, to we had it in 2002 when I played in 06. We had a chance. We had to beat Ghana. It didn't work out. And when I think about that game in particular, we, we made two mistakes and we got punished for it. And and if we make those same types of mistakes or similar things that we saw today, we, we are going to get punished. And, and I just want to make sure that I'm going back to that. I'm feeling like a, I'm wearing my dad hat right now. <laughs> you should know better, guys, you know, to, to get your shape out of position. But, yeah, it's tough. It's interesting.